We're staying at the Dream Inn, which is this really cute spot by the beach. We got in last night. The view was amazing. We got to see the sunrise and we have a little crib in here for Leo. <laughs> this is our first family vacation. This was our first family vacation where Leo flew on an airplane and we're staying in a hotel. So lots of firsts on this trip um but we wanted to take a little trip you know before the holidays started we didn't really travel anywhere and we were just kind of nervous with flying with leo so we finally took the plunge we bought i'll show you guys the we got like a car seat a travel car seat so we rented a car and we are gonna have a fun little weekend full of activities for leo so i'm about to get ready we're up and early with a toddler, so we got to get out there. I have our outfits planned and we're going to this super cute pumpkin patch that I found on Instagram called Lemo's Farm. And it just looks so aesthetic. It's not even October at the, at the time that I'm filming this, but listen, I'm ready for the season. So I have some cute outfits planned for us. So Black Milk actually sent me some really cute pieces and I wanted to make an outfit that I could actually get some cute photos in. And I have a jacket that's going over this. And then this is Leo's outfit. Oh my gosh, it looks so big. <laughs> I actually haven't tried this on him, so I don't know if it's gonna be too big, but I thought we would bring it in with the purple. Maybe I'll give him a little bit of orange on his outfit somewhere but yeah we have a really busy morning it feels great to be vlogging again i haven't vlogged in a while and i wanted to do something special called vlogtober for the month of october and i have an advent calendar for leo with fun little activities every day so so yeah expect more vlogs and if you guys enjoy them let me know leave a like leo good morning <laughs> How's my baby? He was like, what's mommy doing here? Who is she talking to? <laughs> it's too brighty. It's too brighty. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You're silly. Don't pull on that boo-boo. I was nervous about Leo sleeping in the hotel. We got a suite, so there's two different rooms because he goes to bed around like seven or eight. He wouldn't let me leave the room. <laughs> I had to lay in bed until he fell asleep and then I had to sneak out of the door so we can watch some spooky yeah. shows. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> this porter! No, babe! Oh my gosh. It's like... <laughs> that was okay. Oh, do you want to do a take two? <laughs> 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 of course he would. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Fruit. Leo loves fruit. Leo loves his fruits. Okay, what do we got? Oh my gosh. Oh, I see that. Okay, so this is. Ooh. Your classic breakfast. And this is. Ooh. The mega. And then we brought our own coffee. So, because we're coffee snobs. <laughs> yeah. So, we just ended up getting hot water. So, we just get hot water and we add our mushroom coffee to it. Are you hungry, Boo Boo? Come on, let's sit down.
We just okay. got into Limo's farm and it is so cute here. Like I, we can't find pumpkin patches out in LA. So when I saw this, I was like, I wanna go. Let's just go, just go see it. And it is so adorable. Everything is decorated so nice. So we're gonna get into some mischief here. Leo's exploring all of the pumpkins. <laughs> and we're just gonna have a fun day. Family day. Hubby's filming. Wow, Leo. How do you like it? So many pumpkins, huh? So it's the second day and we're up even earlier than yesterday because we're going to go out and get breakfast today instead of getting room service. We are going to take Leo to this place called Camp Railway and it's it's a it's a surprise. So it's it's a steam train in the redwoods. <laughs> so it's going to be a lot of fun. Have you actually found this a uh, little activity and then I think they have like a little area for you to like shop and walk around and I don't know we'll see how it is but it's supposed to be really cool because you get to take a train to the Redwoods so we're gonna go get some breakfast and see you in the Redwoods here's my fit for the day it's supposed to be a little colder today so bundling up and I thought you know red plaid would be nice for a, a choo choo so, gonna do the makeup in the car like I always do, because that's my life.
to the hotel and we were able to get Leo down for a nap, which was the first nap that he's taken this whole trip. And we actually took a nap too. So we felt so refreshed and we decided to come to the boardwalk because we're super close to it and we found parking right in front. I mean, literally the entrance is right here. We actually came yesterday and it was closed for a private event. So it's just our luck for today. I think it was meant to be. Been super hungry. We had a pretzel, so I got some ceviche. I haven't tried any any seafood here yet, so I'm excited for this one. So it's our final day. We've already checked out of our hotel, had brunch at the same spot we went to yesterday because it was so good. We went back and had some more, a pumpkin spice latte, it was so good. And then we decided to come to, this is the Capitol Houses? <laughs> I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Oh my gosh, so many birds. Leo wanted to come and walk on the sand. We have like, four hours to kill before our flight. So just chilling, sightseeing, and then we have an hour drive back to the airport. So yeah, that's our little family vacation. I'll see you when we get home. So Leo just went down for his nap. It's officially October, it's the first today. And I have a little advent calendar I wanted to show you guys that I made on the Tiffy Mama channel. If you wanna go check that out, they do a lot of really fun like toddler friendly DIYs over there. And let me show you. So here is my little advent calendar that I made. I thought it'd be super cute if there are like little bat mobiles and then they're each numbered with the days counting down to the 31st. And then I have a little activity for each day. I literally have a Google calendar with every single day planned out. So it's not a surprise to me, but it's a surprise to hubby and to Leo. And not every day is anything crazy. Like today I'm gonna give him his boo box, which I wanted to show you guys too. And then like other days, like eat candy corn. And then we have like big stuff that we're doing like the Oogie Boogie Bash, which I'm really excited for it. So yeah, I thought it was a super cute idea and it's really cute decor too. Like I think I made a Batmobile 
here on the channel before as a DIY. I'm not sure. I actually got the idea from, I think it was a Pottery Barn mobile. <laughs> they were made out of felt and they had like this little um, spider web idea at the top that I really liked. So I decided why not just make it myself and save some money, show you all how to make it, the DIY. I'll put it in the description if you want to check it out, but let me go show you Leo's boo box that I'm gonna give him today. So this is the second boo box that he'll be getting and I actually just am reusing the same little container that I got from Target last year. And honestly, I think I'm just gonna save it every single year and use it because there's no point in buying new ones every year. But it's so cute, it's just a little bucket with a little jack-o-lantern on it. So for his boo box this year, I got him a couple of pajamas. These are so cute. They're from this brand called Little Trouble and I thought these were super cute. They come with a matching shirt too and they're just like super soft. And then I also have these ones here that I actually found at Marshalls. These ones are really lightweight and it's perfect for LA because can you believe it's October 1st and it's gonna be in the 90s today? Cool. Also got him some little spatulas because we're gonna be doing some baking this year and these were from last year and I have a bunch of them and I just put some candy in them. And then these guys are bath bombs. I think it's supposed to be like rainbow color on the inside, but I got him a three pack. This little witch hat, this jack-o-lantern, and a little ghost. And there's a prize inside. I didn't even realize that. I think these are from a company called Sweet Bath Co. I'll double check and put it in the description, but um, I thought that this would be fun because it's something that he can use, you know, just to make bath time a little more fun. Oh, this one's starting to open. I gotta be careful with that. They're supposed to be like all natural and made with children's skin in mind, unlike other bath bombs that I'm familiar with. No shade, no shade. And then we got him some books. So he, he's been loving this series, the Digger series. And this one is Where Do Diggers Trick or Treat? which is super cute. I got him How to Catch a Monster. And then I saw this little highlights Halloween edition, just some fun activities for him. I got him a little Halloween coloring book. And we have a couple other of these sticker books and they're awesome. And I'm also waiting on some monster trucks that we're putting in here because he has been obsessed with monster trucks recently. So he doesn't have any. So I thought we would give him some since, you know, monster for Halloween. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get out of this room because it's so echoey. We're like in the process of cleaning it out and we're gonna make it into Leo's playroom. So stay tuned for that one. Yeah, it feels really good to be home. There's nothing like sleeping in your own bed after traveling. And um, I think Leo feels the same way because he legit slept in so late yesterday. We had to wake him up. It was almost nine o'clock and <laughs> that never happens. But it was our first time traveling with Leo and he did really well on the plane. I'm super proud of him. I feel like I was more stressed out than him. I don't know if it's, it's a normal thing for moms. I think, I think something just got delivered. Maybe that's our monster trucks. But yeah, I feel, so much better about traveling with him. There's like so many things that go into it that you don't really think of where it's like, okay, what are we doing about the car seat? And then you have to pack all the diapers. And then what about a bed? Where's he gonna sleep? It's just a lot of moving parts. And I will say it wasn't as bad as I thought. Leo took it super well and he didn't really nap. Um, he only napped one of the days and he was fine. I think I needed the break more than him. <laughs> so now we're back home. It feels good to have the house already decorated for October. We literally decorated um, November, no, September, <laughs> September 1st. And I ain't mad about it. I get to enjoy it more. So now I actually have to worry about our Halloween costumes because we're going to Oofy Boogie Bash next week and I don't have my costume. <laughs> Not only do I not have my costume, but Leo doesn't have his costume either. And so now I have to figure out two. So we're gonna make a trip to Joanne's today. And I thought that it would be really cute for us to be something from Nightmare Before Christmas because we've already watched it and he likes it. And hubby already has a Jack Skellington costume. I was gonna be Sally, but Leo like has been crying for me not to be Sally. I'm like, why? why <laughs> and honestly like the face painting 
it's gonna be a little much for me to do um so i'm gonna just be the mayor and i'm kind of excited for it because i haven't seen too many female mayor costumes and then leo is going to be a pumpkin something easy for him to put on and take off if he gets uncomfortable um, i'm actually gonna make it because i want it to look like the nightmare before christmas pumpkins or jack-o-lanterns the one that jack wears on his head or even like the door for halloween town so yeah that's gonna be fun that's in like a week am i weighing over my head probably but this is what makes halloween fun right let's go get a pattern okay i flew solo hubby's taking care of leo so i can shop but found the pattern so cute could not find the fabric so right now i'm looking for a styrofoam for my hat <laughs> Just something cylindrical and tall and light. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do about this fabric though. Literally no orange fabric. What's going on? I literally just found the perfect thing for my head. That's a little too tall, but I could easily cut it down. So cool. Okay, I'm back home. I went to another store and Still wasn't able to find the orange, but I have a different solution for it and we're gonna get it tomorrow. But I found some remnants for the face and I found a pattern for my costume. I'm gonna use this one right here. That one with this fabric. And then I'm gonna make a little collar out of this fabric, like a makeshift one and then use this for the hat too. So time to get to work. I have less than a week to finish this. So I've made some good progress on the costumes, but I definitely think I'm gonna need the help from my mom. <laughs> so I'm gonna enlist her to help me. I know she loves making Halloween costumes, so I'll have her help me with Leo's for sure. Mine, I don't know. I think the size that I made might be a little too small. So we might have to do some adjustments to my costume but i'm so glad that i have the weekend free because i am going to need to work on this asap if it's gonna be ready for next week so i have my work cut out for me i may be in a little over my head i always do this I always do this to myself i hope you all enjoyed this week and i will see you all next week bye bye